David, great to see you. I guess, I mean, we get some numbers like this. It's, it, it just reinforces the view for some that uh, getting inflation or activity under control is going to be like uh, put, keeping a balloon underwater. Well, we have to remember that with monetary policy, there's a lag effect. And I think Chairman Powell mentioned this last week in his remarks. But you can't expect uh, them to just to flick a switch to change things. I think someone mentioned, I was listening, that the house prices are finally starting, to, the growth rate is starting to soften. That's a good sign. I mean, the Fed was behind the ball. They seem to be catching up. And I think it's, it's actually good news that you don't have all this despair in the economy, that perhaps there is a chance for a balanced, soft, softer landing. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, you have to get inflation under control. It can't just be monetary policy. It has to be fiscal policy as well. But we, we do, don't want complete demand mm -hmm. destruction for this to happen. And we seem to see this. So the markets are just focused on one thing. You know, we're long-term investors. We're, we're, we look at the price of businesses and what we get for the price we pay. And these data points, which move markets big time in the short term, if anything, just provide opportunities for bona fide long-term investors such as right. ourselves. When, when, when you think about international, uh, to what degree do you think value is being presented by what currencies have done and what the dollar has done? This is a big opportunity. You know, we hear... U.S. companies kind of moaning that the strength of the dollar is clobbering them. But the reverse is true if you're especially a European or maybe even a Japanese company that has exposure to dollar-based revenues and profits. You're going to get a big currency uplift in your financial performance as a result of the weakness of the home currency, the strength of the dollar. And so we felt the pain as owners of foreign assets you immediately feel the pain when the dollar strengthens. But what begins to trickle through is the benefit to these uh, foreign companies who have lots of dollar revenues and compete against U.S. companies. So I would expect, and normally when you see a devaluation in a currency, you see a positive impact on the local market share prices. We have not seen this yet. But I think this is one of the reasons why there is such opportunity and overseas shares is you're buying these shares using via very undervalued currencies.